and we are back with a new video on the Dobo Cup. So this is just gonna be my best game of it because it's too many games and too long. So yeah, this is a photo of what the tournament looked like. There were 325 people. There's some more over down in the bottom left corner, but it's not in the photo. There were seven grandmasters. So yeah, that's a lot. And I was in here. I can't find myself in this picture, but um, I'm somewhere in the middle. So my best game was the second game, and I won. I started out with d4, e6. This is an unusual. Um, usually I'd play e4, but I know my opponent plays the French because I prep. So I play c5, and he plays d5. So now it's never declined this pawn structure here, and these two pawns pressuring the center. And now I play knight f3. I chose this instead of knight c3 because... I don't like getting pinned, so yeah, he copies, now I pin him, and he doesn't unpin yet, but he plays knight b7, um, at defending this, and also defending the potential threat of knight e5, and also getting ready to push with c4, with all those pieces, so e3, um, h6 just to kick it out, bishop back, bishop e7, knight c3, and b6, now this is normal, trying to get the pawn out, bishop e2 instead of bishop e3, bishop e7, castles, and c5, now this is, um, finally the important bit, here I could play lots of different moves, um, apparently this is the best. I was thinking of doing this to give him hanging pawns. If you don't know, hanging pawns are, here was two pawns, um, in the middle of nowhere. But he was also planning to give me, ha um, an isolated pawn. Takes here. And, of course, I play bishop g3 to take control of this. Because this is always nice. And he tries to give me an uh, isolated queen pawn. Now I take with the knight because I don't want an isolated queen pawn. Unless you do, but I don't. Then he takes and I take with the bishop. Now my bishop's kind of dead, but it can become alive again. In fact, here he plays e5. Too good. And now here, I just drop my knight back, attacking the pawn, and he pushes and I bring my knight back again. So what I did is I overextended his pawn structure. Now this pawn's really weak, even though computer says it's not as good as now. It, now I realize this how good it is, because this pawn is really weak. This pawn can't really come support it because there's a knight in a way. So yeah, that's pretty decent. Rook c8 going on the open file. Now queen b3, um, targeting this, also defending my bishop. So if I get to take it, obviously that would be good. The bishop that by castling, now rook is going to defend it. And I play this move, which is bad for several reasons, according to computer, but I think it's fine. Um, the point here. I think what I was trying to do, I was trying to get to this pawn and potentially go to here because if I land a bishop there after knight, bishop, bishop, then the bishop would be really strong there. Um, computer says it's bad. So, he plays knight c5, which is the only move that doesn't win, according to the computer. And now, queen c3. Putting my queen on the open. a6, and here 
I was like, oh no, my knight's trapped. I can't go here, I can't go here, I can't go here. And I, I was thinking of this move. <clears throat> I spent five minutes calculating B4. Takes, takes, takes. Takes. And of course it didn't work, but I just tried to make sure it didn't work. And then I spent like... A while calculating this. And then this. Because that's like... Yeah. Then I said that doesn't really look good. So then I played the only move. Yeah. Knight a7. Um... Yeah, that's the only move you can play, even though it looks really trash. But, so you're trying to get out here, and you're also attacking the rook. He slides the rook back, and, uh, yeah. I play this. Now, I could have played a lot of things, but he took, and I took. And he went here. I take his bishop. He takes. I play rook here. Rook onto open file. And he just, yeah. So yeah, that's how you win chess games. You just give them, I mean, they just give you their juices. Then I took his piece. And the rest of the game was just taking points. And some tactics here and there. Now here, I was trying to come around with the rook. Um, so after that, that's exactly what I did, because he can't take, or I'll take, check, check, lots of stuff coming. So he plays this, I take, he takes. Now there was a tactic here, maybe it was later. Yes, in this position, um, no, not this position, this position, my opponent's friend, after the game, of course, offered, I can win a rook, after rook d8. Now, rook d8 looks good, because it's check, and after rook d8, when they take, I'll take the queen, which is of course what he saw, except rook d8. Rook takes. This is still winning, but he specified you take the queen. And if you do that, you get mated. So don't get mated, it's not good for your health. Uh, that's why I didn't do that, and instead I just took the queen. And here on out, it's just taking pawns. And at this position, before I moved, he just resigned. And yeah, I got I got a free win. So yeah, that, that's um Dobro Cup. It's a really big, nice area here. It was a seven round tournament for four days. Two games on the first day, two games on the second day, two games on the third day, one on the last day. Today was the last day, that's why I'm posting the video today. Um, like and subscribe. Sorry I haven't uploaded, published videos for a while because like I had to prep for this, but like, yeah.